All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista, and I thought I'd share with you a journal that I keep on my desk all the time. Um, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I, I always have a separate journal off to the side that I use for, um, you know, extra paint, extra whatnots, gesso, stamps, paper, whatever I'm working on, I don't like to waste it. So I always have some random journal off to the side um, where I put that type of thing. Excuse me. So if you've been with me with a, for a while, you've seen this one. Um, this is all extra stuff. And it's just random paint and paper. I don't think about where I put things. Um, if I got, look, you know, extra brown paint I probably ne wouldn't necessarily have put it with the red and the cream but uh, you know I challenge myself just to put down you know whatever I'm I'm particularly uh, whatever's left over at that time and sometimes it's you know if I'm using a stencil and I put too much paint on my palette then I'll flip to a page in the book where um, and, and just just go at it so this is, just like my previous video, this is bound with uh, rubber bands. This happened to be three separate pieces of chipboard that I used duct tape um, to put together, to join together. Um, I just put some washi tape on there as decoration. This is some old club scrap paper. Um, so what, what I've done is taken mini books that I've... I've uh, junk mail, hotel ephemera that I like to call it. Um, this one happens to be from Chicago. And I've put all these separate little books um, in this desk journal, this leftover journal as I like to call it. So sometimes I, um, for some of these, I made a random junk journal. Um, and then put that in with binding. So I made this particular one. I stapled these papers together. Um, I drew this bird. I like it. But anyways, uh, sometimes I just put an envelope in there, cardstock, magazine images, uh, whatnot. So that's stapled together. Where's the middle here? So it is stapled um, as a booklet, and then I put it in um, with a rubber band. This is an older caribou coffee. We don't have caribou coffee in Canada. It was one that I think I got in, uh, I don't know, the Midwest somewhere. And anyways, I liked it. So again, um, I just put it in there with a, with a rubber band. And I'm using it as for leftovers. For example, I was making a postcard the other day. Here it is. Um, so I had some leftover blue paint, blue and white. Uh, so I just had this out and, um, you know, kind of, I guess they're leaves. I don't know. I was just playing around. And that's what the, the fun thing is about this journal. Um, sometimes I take this downstairs while I'm watching TV. And here I, I drew a girl there. But um, it's, it's more about, for me, not thinking. Now, I did prep some of these pages because I liked in this Caribou Coffee, I liked some of the images. So I just used some craft paint and painted around them. Um, but for the most part, it's just leftover stuff. Now, this booklet, uh, I also stapled together. I don't know if you can see staples there. But it's just a watercolor um, paper, cheap stuff from from Michaels. Uh, and this is the type of thing that, that I do. So this is all leftover paint from some project. And this is a artist seller, C-E-L-L-A-R, stencil. It's a cathedral series. And I was I sprayed it on some page, um, and and I don't like to you know waste that ink or that spray, so I just put it in my my journal and leave it there. Now, what's important? Lots of people say, Paula, I put the stencil in there, and it turns out to you know just a blob hot mess. What's important is that you have to leave the stencil in there till it's completely dry, and that's where you know it'll sink into the paper and make a nice. Um, image. If you just put it in there, take it up, it'll just run and, and be, a, like I say, a hot mess. So, so all of these, for example, there's numbers are backwards. Um, all of these are stencils that I've just put in there after I've used them on a different project. So random stuff. Again, just 
leftover paint and, and whatnot. And who cares if it makes a mess? You know, that's the fun thing about this type of journal is that you learn different things um, and you can, you know, find out something just by happenstance because you put certain things together. Um, I also drew this seal. <laughs> That's another inspiration from from Dee Dee. So I also made um, this cover. This is a file folder again that I stapled junky type stuff, some scrapbook paper, um, some uh, phone book, whatnot, magazines, and again this is just stapled together, and I put it in the book with a rubber band. So, very fun and easy. They don't have to be, the books don't have to be um, something that's found. So this is a Lush catalog. This is a Lush UK catalog from a few years back now, probably four or five, which I really like. So they were glossy pages. Um, so some of them I gessoed before I started putting stuff down. You know, I just, if I have leftover paint or whatever I'm working on, I never think about where I'm putting it. Um, I just open to whatever random page is first and then and then go to town. So um, sometimes I do something mindfully. Uh, I did that, you know, I was playing around with, with some of that. But uh, for example, last night on my Ustream show, we were playing around with some um, Golden's Light Molding Paste and uh, talking about, you know, embossing paste and mold, light molding paste and regular molding paste and how they're pretty much all the same. Except regular molding paste, sorry, that's thicker, but embossing paste, say from Dreamweaver, like this, um, is pretty much the same as, excuse my reach, light molding paste. And you can tint that to whatever color. So in this particular case, we tinted it with some, um, some burgundy paint there. Uh, and it's it's raised so I wouldn't necessarily put this color on this page you know with the brown but that's what that's the page that it opened to last night so um, then there's another book that uh, that I made here's some junk you know it was uh, some type of junk mail from a fashion magazine and uh, then the original desk journal I had leftover journal um, is here. So see how cool it looks and this is all leftover stuff but for some reason you know when it's all said and done when it's all in there it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly it doesn't have to be a full size you know anything this is truly just some scraps that I had laying around um, some paper that my wonderful friend Sharon sent me and uh, some scrapbook paper. So the, again, this just like the other one, um, the last video I showed you, all this stuff can come in and out. So if you want to change it, you know, you want to add to it, it's, it's just temporary in there by rubber bands. I mean, look how awesome. I, I just absolutely love this. So thanks so much for uh, to Didi, who is Inkwell over on Ustream, um, for showing us and, and inspiring us to to do this type of thing with this binding. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and uh, much love.